faster, man. You don't know nothing about poop velocity. I do, dude. I know about gravity. Gravity is the speed that poop falls. Everyone knows that. I think the powder on your legs are going to slow down the viscosity of the poop. Tiny's poop going out, here. Coming out of you. Coming out of your rear. I think that's what's going to happen. Okay, You're you going ready? down. You ready? All right, ready. Three. On go. Not not one. Not not between one and go. On go. And so we're going we're three, go. two, one, go. This is so the test. On I'm going to test it. It'll, we're going to say, just so I know, three, two, one, go. And then when you say go. That's when you press Z. Obviously, go. Right. It's right. not on two because that's misleading because two is number two, but not number two. That's correct. Which you would think maybe that would be when you would say, when you would do it, but no. We can do three, two, one, Z if that makes sense because Z is poop. So three, two, one, Z. And when you hear the word Z, you just press Z. And that's like poops. an advertisement for your channel. Is that what you're saying? No, that's an advertisement <laughs> for the tribe. But I'll take it. www.youtube.com slash Zuljan. That's my. That's right. <laughs> Check it out, Pete. <laughs> All right. You All ready? Right. I'm ready. Are you angled right? Is Are you in selfie mode with your butt yeah, I'm showing ready. toward I'm the camera? I'm super ready. Okay. Three, two, one, Z. Oh! Oh, my God. Look at you, how fast you poop. Look at my poop. I think it's you won. you you won. You won. You got went you got to your point faster and further. And further. That's oh right. My God. That's insane. How, my poops are amazing. How how did you poop like that? Okay. Tiny's right. poops are better. I wonder you just if have crappy poop. How about th Okay, you know what? What? Ha ha. <laughs> That's how you poop Super rate, poop. baby. <laughs> Super poop, man. Super poop. Poop boulder. That I, was a poop boulder. Uh, oh, look at this. I, I can had a see, lot of like, fiber. Up your nose. It looks like you're putting it up to your ear. Hello? You have... <laughs> you have... What did you say, Sonny? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Katie, you speak up. So you look like an old man. <laughs> okay, what did you say? <laughs> Wait, let's look. I gotta look in the hour. Put your hourglass up again. There. Oh, I can't see your eye through it. I was Yours hoping I like could see your eye through side. it. It's all foggy. What? Yours is like. It looks like you're holding it up to your ear. Oh? No, it looks like I'm holding it up to my eye. Oh, no. I can't. It's kind of to my cheekbone. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> I'm listening. Sea sails. She sails seashells by the seashore. That's, Mine, I put it right up in my thing, man. Right you, up in my gr you grill. Did, but your face is so big. No, oh, Tiny's a huge man. And plus, you got that. Oh, no, you kind of put it by your ear, too. No. Yeah, Tiny you do. Knows how to use it. You, when you, you turn your at, head. You're to when look you turn your, your head. Ear. No, when you turn your you head. You can't it look is. through your ear. <laughs> I can look anywhere <laughs> I want. <laughs> look at this. Zoom. I got a cool. This is cool, man. If you go into your third person menu and then you zoom, like. Uh huh. And you go into your K menu. Uh huh. Oh, I see the back of my head. Yeah, it zooms you way in. They but really could have did my hair out. better. They really could have did my hair you, better. You look like an old man. I'm, I see the pores on my head. You have a lot of pores, too. I do have you're, a lot of pores. You're very pores. I'm, oh, your hands, neck though. is all chicken turkey. A like, chick? Oh, God. Chicken turkey? Is your that, neck is all grizzly. That's like, that's like the cheap version of a turducken. Yeah, chicken turkey. The chicken. <laughs> chicken. We forgot the duck. Oh, well, it's a chicken turkey. The chicken turkey. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee. He. <laughs> Hello guys, Zuljan here. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Man, let me take a look at you. It's been a few days since I've seen y'all and my bird and my character. And, oh man, I hope y'all like that little skit that I started off with. I didn't get to upload it before I left the convention, but <laughs> it was funny. Sloop was taming a mammoth and I had been having this idea for downhill poop racing. So I ended up going over there and we just did it while we were waiting so it was pretty fun but anyway you guys i'm out in the northern island just trying to get warmed up i've been checking on my dinos and making sure everything's been cool after the few days that i was out and i came to the north island to look for a higher level argentarvis which i have not yet been able to find yet i've been i've been noticing a lot of pretty ones over the over there on the mountain that we're looking at right now but unfortunately 
they are um i think the highest one i saw is like level 36 which is not gonna do it for me and i really want to get this purple drop i've been hoping to get some attachments and maybe a little bit of ramshackle stuff so that i can uh i could get a backup suit of armor that's something else that i want to work in Slip and I were talking at the convention, and uh, and we were like, "Man, I, I said I want to start doing some new, some some stuff, some more collab stuff." And he was like, "Yeah, we need to go do caves so we can summon the brood mother." And I was like, "That that's exactly what I was thinking too." So what we need to start doing is collecting stuff, and naturally, those caves guys are like super duper dangerous. I'm thinking that we could have some backup animals, you know, some that we don't really need. What is this? A primitive stego saddle? Yeah. Not a whole, not a whole, not a lot of necessary right there. Not a whole lot of necessary. I don't know why I was trying to say it like that. It's not real necessary is what I was about to say. Uh, but anyway, yeah, we need to start getting some alternatives. Like, I want to get a couple of cats that I can take over there to the other caves uh, because there's some crazy stuff. We're going to have to start getting some walls and some foundations and some ladders and stuff like that so that we can do the caves properly. And um, bringing some cats out there to do some harvesting for the chitin. And yes, I've looked it up. I know a few of you said in the comments that it's not chitin z it's chitin that's one of those weird words that the ch is actually pronounced like k well silly old english i don't know why it's like that but at any rate i am gonna call it like it's supposed to be called from now on and that is kite so yeah chitin it is anyway i don't see any argentarvis but i do see another is that a yellow beacon it's so hard to tell uh i think we should I'm not going to use the Gamma Command for that. It's going to be a little while. Anyway, guys, I'm going to keep hunting around. Oh, there's some Argentovas right here. Hold on. Hold on. Well, guys, there's one over there. Level 69. Ripe for the picking. The only thing is, I'm going to have to kill a couple of them to get to it. So, I think I should start with the top ones, probably. Or the ones that were most high. Hopefully, we don't attract too much attention from that other one. I do have my taming stuff on me, so it shouldn't be that bad. Oh, now they're kind of grouping. This is going to be pretty difficult, I do believe. Um, hmm. I mean, my health's good, so I could probably fight them. This is not the one that I want, right? <laughs> I'm hoping not. No, this is not the one. That's the level 27. Okay, where are the other ones at? Oh, the sky's turning all dark. It's crazy looking. Um, did they do something with the, the radiance? I don't know. Okay. Let's see here. Ah, oh, there's corn <laughs> carnivores all over the beach, man. All right. I don't think it's these two. Let me park Amberhawk. And we'll see. Try to get a good beat on him again. Stay still, Amberhawk. Don't you go too close to him. They're going to pick a fight with you. I do not want I do not want you fighting with them. Not unless I command you. Okay. 69. Is it that red one? It is the red one. Okay. And there's another one with it. Okay, so what if I set Amberhawk to passive? Let's do that. Um passive. Okay. And I'm also going to need to I might have to change the gamma some. We'll see. <laughs> Boy, it sure is pretty with that yellow beam coming out. Um, hmm. I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to try to get this out the way. If this is all one rock. No, this isn't even a rock that I could take out. Very interesting. Hmm. Okay, well. I am a little low on arrows, too. I'm probably going to have to make a few of them. Let's let it sort out what's going on here, and I'll make a few arrows here. Uh, let's see. Craftables. We should be able to do some. There we go. And craft all. I love that that's implemented now. Beautiful. And it looks like number five is going to be the bow that I need. I should let it clear, too. Or at least them all craft up. Okay, so... It looks like they're still on the ground over there. There's 
three of them. There's a 24, a three. Uh, they're fighting a corno and all kind of stuff. Okay, maybe I should go grab Amber Hawk and do a little bit more damage to him. That's what I'm thinking. Let's see. All right. I'm going to go take care of these two because they're going to be a little bit far away. I'm going to need the prime meat anyway. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Very easy. And I did get some prime meat from him. That's good. I also need to grab this yellow. I hate to disable it because of the light. Maybe there'll be nothing in it. All right. Let's see what's in it. Might as well check. Uh, excess it. Uh, laser attachment. I do want it. <laughs> oh, well. We're going to lose the light. Let me just gamma up for you guys. Boom. Alrighty. And let's see what's going on here. So we have... Mate boosted. So there is two still in there. I think it's two and not three. What are they fighting even? Alright. Let's try to draw one out. I think it's the dark red one that I want. Uh, I, I know what's going on. I see what's going on. They have a bird that they're harvesting. One that died, apparently. So what I need to do is wait for them to kind of finish up with that. Alright guys, it looks like they're separating. So the red one is not the one that I need. It's actually the white one. And it looks like Amberhawk is being attacked. That would have been bad. She's on passive, too. I gotta watch it with these Dorn things around here. I wish I could pick these up like he could, like the raptors and stuff. There we go. Level 54, Sabertooth down. Ah, the red one's by itself. Okay, good. We just killed this one. Then we'll have the white one all to ourselves. Okay. This is going to be kind of difficult here. Okay. Are we ready? <laughs> no choice. We gotta be. Amberhawk, we're gonna have to put you on neutral. Because you're going to have to fight back. Um, neutral. Very good. Oh, come on. I'm never gonna be able to tame this stupid thing. Because of everything harassing everything else. Alright. Yeah, because this guy would have just came right after us. Well, more prime meat for the tame, I guess. Okay. Now, where'd the bird go? Where did the bird go? Don't tell me. The bird disappeared? I hope that wasn't like a despawn or something. Ah! There it is, there it is, there it is. Okay. There it is. Very good. We'll get to a safe place. This looks safe. Safer than by the beach. The beach tends to be like... Spawning grounds, man. All right. Let's get a little closer. This is going to be a heck of a knockout. I think. Level 69. If we tame it with all prime meat, taming effectiveness should bring it pretty high. It'll be a good bird to get weight with. Okay. Uh, let me make sure this one's it. It should be, though. Just in case. Yes. It is. All right. Ready? Steady. Shoot. There we go. I gotta make sure I'm doing my best to kind of stay away from it. Maybe we can just go like underneath it. Take one lick, you know what I mean? Take one hit because its turning radius is gonna be pretty rough. I don't want to get too close to Amberhawk here. Not too close. Did that tranquilizer set in some? There we go. Level 69. Oh, I killed it. Son of a gun. <laughs> oh, that stinks. <laughs> oh, back to the drawing board. Well, guys, in my little search for um, <laughs> high-level Argentarvis, look what I found. 
an albino level 87 rex <laughs> i want it i mean i can't lie i want it that's a very very strong and rare dino so i'm thinking i'm gonna try to get on top of that rock there i don't know if i'm gonna have enough trank arrows in fact i'm almost positive that i won't but the good news is i could probably make some more Let's look at craftables and see what it would take to make regular stone arrows. I'm thinking, yeah, all I need is some fiber, which isn't going to be too hard to get. Let's go ahead and grab some right now, in fact, because I have, like, flint and all sorts of other stuff on me. And I can't teeter-totter around too much because I will definitely, definitely, definitely mess this opportunity up. I just know myself. That's how my luck goes. Okay, this should be enough to make arrows with. I need to get on this rock before it is too late. If it's even possible, this is going to be kind of tricky. Or maybe not. I should be able to get up most, if not all, the way. Ah. Hold on. Almost there. Aha. Almost. No, don't go down the side. I oh, almost got it. Almost got it. No, 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 no. No. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Where is the dino? He is way away from there. Oh no, there he is right there. And I'm gonna have to eat. Okay, let's make some uh let's make some arrows right quick. How much can we make? Let's just go ahead and craft all 19. And then we're gonna craft all of those as well. Hopefully I have enough arrows. Take a little bit longer to craft. And the bad news is if this guy decides to come at me, or if he can climb after me, which it doesn't look like he can, he would already be aggroed by now. Right? I think. Yeah, I don't think he can get me. I think this is the good spot. I need to get to a point to where I can hit him in the head, because I think that's a thing. Okay, so we did hit him. And if he passed to me, I'm in trouble. It doesn't look like he'll be able to get me. It does not look like it. I do need to get a little bit closer without falling down. And it looks like my other my bird is safe. <laughs> Hopefully this will work. I hope shooting him in the tail is not a big deal. Shooting him in the head is probably better. But think about it. If I move, it's going to be messed up. I need to wait five seconds between each shot. I think that's the magic number. So, 1 1,000, 2 1,000, 3 1,000, 4 1,000, 5 1,000. Something like that. So, I'm going to keep on shooting arrows until I'm out, guys. So, you guys, a little change of plans. <laughs> um, if y'all can't notice, <laughs> I'm in a different position, and Guamahami's on the beach. So, I kind of ran out of arrows, and uh, both my bows broke, and I needed more narcotics anyway. So, I ended up getting down fixing my bows going get some more narcotics at um at the compound because i was out and um i actually brought back guamahave so that'll be a lot easier that way i won't have to worry because amberhawk was kind of a sitting duck on the beach and i was really really scared that <laughs> she was gonna get eaten or attacked and nothing's really gonna mess with uh with the guamahave so i'm not worried so I'm going to continue to pump Trank Arrows into this guy until I, uh, I can knock him out. And there he goes, guys. Wow. So let's see. I have 38 arrows left. So I used 22 out of this 50 stack and 50 out of the other one. So 72 arrows to get this bad boy down. But he is down. And... As long as I feed him prime meat, we should be good. Let's see here. Oh, gosh, that's perfect. Level 87. All right. He even has white feet. It's so cute. Okay. <laughs> I got to get some prime meat for this guy with Kwamahave and get things started off right. All right, you guys. I got a bunch of prime. Let's check it out. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know why I was singing it. Seven, eight nine to start with and i've got a bunch of narcotics too so let's go ahead and 
see what we can do here. Let's start feeding it. Perfect. Perfect. Eat up, big guy. Yes, that's a good boy. <laughs> All right, let's see here. I'm only going to do 50 narcotics on it just in case it gets eaten. 500 torpor, which means we could probably use at least 15. And we'll keep that torpor up. Right now, taming effectiveness is 99.7.43 point <laughs> levels. Holy cow. I'm going to try to keep it going as well as I can. 99.7 taming effectiveness is really good. And the fact that we have Guamahavi on guard should be pretty good. I'm going to put some regular meat on this guy just in case. I'm going to line it up behind too. I'll show you how I do this. So for some reason, the AI is not that smart when it comes to uh, meat <laughs> or, or eating. And they don't necessarily eat their favorite meats. What they do is they eat what's first in the slot. So... If I take this meat, for instance, and I put it in the back, it will not eat this until there is no meat left for it to eat. You can also change up and line up your timers like you're supposed to. Not that these are really, really important, but 506 is faster than 530. So the smart thing to do would just be to put that in front. Now, when you start gathering more meat, like the second run that I'm on, I'm just going to make sure that it's going to be behind the first set of prime meat. And uh, you keep them fed like that. And that's how you keep your taming effectiveness as high as possible. Because from what I understand, taming effectiveness goes down every time the animal eats. And in order to tame a creature, it has to eat <laughs> a lot. So the less it eats to get the taming bar all the way up, the less the taming effectiveness will drop, if that makes any sense. So anyway, guys, I'm going to keep on keeping on. Hopefully we can keep this guy because this is an amazing, amazing, amazing creature. Anyway, come on, Guamahavi. Let's go hunting. All right, you guys. It's kind of coming down to the wire here. We only have 20 seconds left on all of this prime meat. Looks like we might be able to get one more in as far as uh, eating goes. So that is going to bring it to like, oh, it's done. It's done. I cannot believe we tamed him. He's level 129. <laughs> wow. So as you might or may not know, because so many of you, <laughs> you are new to the channel, um, Rexes aren't exactly my favorite dinos. Like, I like spinos a lot. Um, but I know someone who does love these things. And uh, one like this, I, I, I just, I gotta do it, guys. If I can type, powder. <laughs> powder. And you know who this is gonna belong to, right? This is going to be a present for Slipgator. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he's so awesome. So I can't remember if Slip's T-Rex is a male. I really hope it's a female, but I'm not too sure. At any rate, um, I'm going to have to go get a saddle for this guy and, and deliver it to <laughs> Slip Gator. How are we going to get it back, I wonder? Okay, let's try this. Powder, come on. We got to... Uh, well, actually, let me just access you. Um, neutral, yeah, and what, uh, let's see, disable following, enable following, I think by default they follow, and that should be good, good lord, he's just so powerful, it's crazy, so what we're gonna need to do is bring, it, yeah, what we're gonna need to do is bring it to, um, the bridge, but you know what? I want to check powder stats. What's the base stats start off out at? Access inventory. We're gonna to have to give her some meat. Him some meat too. Um, let's see. Melee damage starts at 305. Stamina starts at 1218. Health starts at 5200. Wow. And oxygen starts at 420. Pretty darn nice. Weight is 730. Movement speed is at 100. So this should be fine. And I do have a saddle uh, that I can probably give to him. Uh, if not, we can probably find one for it, no problem. Uh, but I'm definitely gonna use my saddle to get to him if I can actually get out of here. Let's see. Well, Mojave, let's go. Maybe I can make them both follow me and then they'll kind of get out of one another. Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> 
<laughs> Maybe not. Let's try this again. All right, and we'll make we'll make powder follow Guamahave. Guamahave will come out a little bit, and yeah, now we should have the the proper follow distance. All right, that's awesome. Well, guys, I am going to um, try to get powder across the bridge back to the mainland and uh, strap a saddle on for delivery. All right, powder. You scared, huh? Is that why you dropped a deuce right there? Yes. <laughs> it's okay. It's perfectly natural. Okay. Let's see if we can get this done. As long as we stay walking forward, we should be alright. This little water you got going is pretty good. Keep it high and tight. I don't want to fall in the water. As long as we stay straight, it isn't bad. Now, if I would be driving you with a steering wheel, it'd be kind of hard to keep you steady. But since I'm driving you with a mouse, uh oh, wait. This corner? I don't know about this. Powder, oh, powder, what? No, powder. Powder, watch your step. I know it's steep. Let's see, maybe. Oh, no, that doesn't help at all. I thought it would if I would look closer, but it didn't. Okay, this is gonna be kind of difficult. Oh, wait, no. How about, no. How about this? A little bit. A little. Okay. Whoop. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, baby. Watch out, baby. Hold. Hold. Oh, wait. No. no. <laughs> Hold. All right, Powder. We got another one coming up. You're doing good. You're doing great, Powder. You used to train in the circus for tightrope walking or something? Because this is, this is just skill beyond belief. It's, oh, you use your front claws to balance your, yourself. Is that, is that what it is? Okay, powder. Well, no, 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 no. That's too far, powder. Too far. Oh, yep, there we go. We're back on track. All right, baby. All right. High and tight. High and tight. <laughs> and we made it to land. How about that? That's so awesome. <laughs> now we're gonna have to get powder over to slip gators all right you guys a little change of plans so i ended up having to wait a little while because the server needed to update and uh i ended up thinking that well i'll go ahead and bring powder all the way to tiny's base when he's on so i'm actually about to meet up with him i just said well yeah i'm gonna go to your base i got you a little surprise so he has no idea what's in store for him i'll meet you guys back when i have arrived well guys we didn't make it i had to tell slip what the gift was because he logged on and i was on my way <laughs> and um so the the collision things i was complaining about i could not walk with one creature while flying with the other one uh actually opposite of that i could not i could not make my pterodon fly after me when i was riding the t-rex because it would trip him up and uh they got in a little fight up top and uh the t-rex went crazy powder went crazy and jumped in the water and slip tried to steer it back but it ran out of o2 before it can get back because he lives in such a local location yeah yeah it was my fault <laughs> it was my, it was my fault man it was unbelievable like such a nice like kingly gift man unbelievable but you, you know what you know that's what arc man that's, that's the way it works. that's the way it works you know what its name was powder powder, powder for uh -huh. your legs about kind of needed powder <laughs> between your legs all the time. So I was going to give you powder between your legs, man. That sounds so weird now that I'm saying it. <laughs> and it's a double entendre because it's white. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. Dude, that is the best gift ever that <laughs> anyone could ever ask for. I love you. <laughs> I love you too, man. <laughs> man, oh, oh, I just pooped. All right. Well, let's go take out some frustration on some stuff. That's going to be it for today, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did... Please leave a like, and if y'all haven't yet, y'all should go see Slipgator. He's famous. Yep, I'm famous, man. <laughs> I'm rich. <laughs> I can't say it. I can't say it. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to Zuljin, and then also do all the everything you can that is nice to him and all the people that you yeah, know. Yeah, and rip powder. Rip powder in the comments. Oh, my God. Rest <laughs> in peace, most amazing dino of all time. <laughs> peace out, peeps.